Hello and welcome back to Crow Wing FPV. All right, so this one was actually really, really cool. Um, as you know, in my previous video, I had talked about the Taycan, um, the Dytone Taycan, which is a three inch 4S version. Well, it flew like crap. And you saw the footage, it looked, it just, bleh, bleh. anyway. So, I said I was going to put Emu Flight on there, and I did. Now, I'm not going to go through and dig into Emu Flight. You can see that in one of my previous videos. And it's really simple. It's just like running Beta Flight, uh, but when it comes to tuning, it's much, 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 much more simple. Uh, on this one, I did not do any kind of custom tuning at all. All I did was, just like my previous videos with, with Emu Flight, I just used a three inch Cinewhoop preset. And this thing flew smooth. I mean, smooth. Uh, I'm gonna show you the footage I'm gonna show you is not gonna be uh, any kind of, there's no stabilization. There's no um, real steady go used. I'm just showing you straight off the camera. I'm not even gonna color edit. it. I'm not even gonna color grade. I'm not gonna do anything to it. It's just gonna be straight off the GoPro 8. And that's it. Uh, first run, I was running a uh, 650, I believe. Let me double check. Sorry, I apologize. I was running an 850 mAh 4S battery, which is just grab it here. I'm just running this guy here. This is just the RDQ series 850 mAh. Second round through, I was running a uh, 1550, bigger battery, a lot heavier, and I noticed that this quad isn't really designed for speed, and that's fine. I, I don't, I don't need speed. I need stability. I need nice, smooth handlings, you know, smooth turns, everything like that for cinematic viewing. Now, I will say that right now. With the way that this flies, with these settings, this quad I would probably choose over any of my other quads, my my, my other center whoops, you know, like this guy here, uh, especially over this one, uh, for doing like in close, like flying in like close quarters, and I just started flying in. Um, parking lot, uh, parking garage, or ramp, excuse me, and now I, I know I can throw the, throw a GoPro on this one, and I'm not going to worry about destroying the GoPro on the ceilings and on the pillars, just for training on, you know, close quarters flying. Uh, it flies beautifully. It actually flew better with the heavier battery. The more weight on it, it was a little bit more sluggish, which I wanted, and, you know, it was just able, I was able to control it a lot better. Now I can change that by changing the gravity on uh, in beta flight or sorry in emu flight. I can change the gravity on it to make it feel like it has a heavier battery while running a lighter battery. But I, I don't see the point in doing that really if I can just throw a heavier battery on there and it's not burning up the motors. The motors were cool to the touch when I when I landed and everything ran absolutely gorgeous. So here's the footage. Check it out. Let me know what you think, and that's it. Just a short one today. Thank you, and I'll see you again.